Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fat Hipster Channel. Today, I am going to be doing a review from Neverland, a fast food restaurant known as Wendy's. And today I have another one of my world famous uh, dry erase artistic renditions of fast food logo. Here she is in all her glory, the one and only Wendy from Wendy's. Here's the uh, where I went off of. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty accurate, I'd say. Anyway, let's move this over here. In the background, maybe you can still see it. Anyway, at Wendy's. They've just recently come out with a new sandwich. And you can get this in a burger, or you can get this in a chicken sandwich. For a burger, you can get this as a double, single, triple. For a chicken sandwich, you can get it as a regular, spicy, or grilled. I got this as a regular chicken sandwich, because what I believe is that uh, this is most accurately eaten in the style of a chicken parm and that is not only the, not only nothing that is what was i even trying to say there none other than that's what i was trying to say none other than the italian mutts classic chicken sandwich uh this really reminds me of the culver's curder burger where it has a, a giant cheese curd on the burger. Well, this one, it has a giant patty. You'll see here. Uh, this is just a, a mozzarella cheese stick kind of thing. It also has a slice of mozzarella cheese. And then it's got uh, marinara sauce as well. The bun, I believe, is some type of like garlic asiago bun you can see some kind of herbalations in there i'm gonna move this just because it keeps bumping my arm here we go we're gonna try it out it has a whole fried disc of mozzarella cheese plus a slice of mozzarella cheese so it should be pretty cheesy Definitely has that mozzarella stick type of flavor to it with the coating of the bread. Hmm. Cooked pretty well. I'm sure if it was hot enough, you get a pretty good cheese pull out of it if that's your thing. I personally think cheese pulls are overrated. I don't think cheese pulls have anything to do uh, with the flavor or your enjoyment of actually eating. I think it's a good thing for our views and clicks and to see on Instagram and TikToks and stuff like that. But if I'm eating something where the cheese stretches like that, there's actually a few issues. One, it's just probably too hot. For you to like bite into and taste and enjoy. Uh, if cheese is that molten, that it's in a liquid state, that if you stretch like that, probably too hot. Secondly, I think when you have stretchy cheese like that, a lot of times it will pull the whole cheese off of what you're eating. Instead of being able to cleanly bite through it, maybe a little bit of stretch. Uh, a little bit of elasticity and movement, but you can still bite through it without pulling the entire cheese out of your sandwich.
I really like the combo with the fried mozzarella and the sauce. I don't think the, the cheese slice. Hmm. Actually, the cheese slice has more of a sharper taste to it than the fried one. Maybe it's provolone. The chicken itself is okay. And let's see. There's definitely like a Italian herb scent to the bun. Flavor-wise, it's okay. It has like a little little hints of the herbs in it. Really, it's the smell of the herbs that you get off the bun that really contribute to the overall flavor of the sandwich. I will say the uh, chicken tastes good, but it's a little thin, it's a little dry. I think they use all white meat chicken. Which probably contributes to how much on the dry side it is. Like, no matter how hard I squeeze this chicken, I don't think I'm going to get any liquid to come out of it. Not like that new Popeye's black chicken, which was just super juicy. Well, like, if you can get that kind of cheese thickness. Hmm. That tastes good. All right, so for the Italian Mott's fried chicken, regular style sandwich at Wendy's, I'm going to give it a two thumbs up. Despite the chicken just being like a little bit thinner, a little bit drier than some other places, I think most people would be satisfied with the, the chicken on the sandwich for sure. You can try it with the grilled. You can try it with the spicy if you want. Um, I don't really think the, the burger one is going to be as good as having it on chicken, though. Maybe. I don't think I'm going to try it, but I recommend that you go ahead and try this new sandwich out at Wendy's. Um, it's called the Italian Mozzarella Sandwich. You can get it on chicken or a burger. Uh, they also have this new Sunburst Melon Lemonade. I'm not sure how new it is. I know it's new for me. I don't remember seeing it last time I went there. This has a combination of strawberry, watermelon, and cantaloupe. And I think this is so refreshing. And those flavors just contrast with the, the tartness of the lemonade really well. Add some good sweetness to it. I also got, I have not tried this yet before, uh, garlic fries at Wendy's. That would be a nice side dish to go with the chicken parm. You might get garlic bread, so here's some garlic fries. The garlic seasoning on here is really good. I think if they put like a aioli or something on top of here, it would be a lot better because it seems to have dried out relatively quickly. It doesn't look like there's like a buttery sauce at the bottom of this. You can see that. And like the fries that are in that corner look pretty coated, but the fries that are on top are still super dry. 
Yeah. The pack of gold that were in that sauce are a lot better. Now, lastly, and this is really the second thing I was meaning to review for this. Uh, that, that drink and those fries are just <clears throat> add-ons that I did at the moment when I was ordering. But this is the new Peppermint Frosty. Um, growing up, Frosty's well was chocolate. And I remember at some point, I believe I was in high school, they added like a mix in. We put like MMs and but crush up Butterfinger bars and stuff like that in it. And then later than that, they introduced vanilla frosties, which I did not see the point or the need for such things. But that, they've done other things. They've done strawberry ones. I think I've seen like overseas a green matcha one, but this is the new holiday flavor of peppermint. It's good, it's sweet, it's minty. If you this was colored green and this was March, it would taste like something completely different. But completely different, I mean the exact same, just a different color. And by that I mean the shamrock shake. It's just a different color of shamrock shake. Chick-fil-A, I think, also has a new peppermint drink. I may review that in the future. It is holiday season. But anyway, if you like shamrock shakes, you're going to like the peppermint frosty. Similar minty, ice creamy drink thing. This time for Wendy's. Anyway, that's it for this review. Like I said, the Italian Mott sandwich, two thumbs up. Um, I really liked it on the original. I could see putting it on a grilled. I don't really see the, the burger or the spicy chicken working as well. But who knows? Maybe it does. Maybe that's something you want to try. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.